welcome back to my channel. I make a by CRC. Thank you for clicking on this video and checking it out. So the first thing I'm going to take is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in 101 Ivory. And I'm just going to dot that on my face and then start to blend it in. What I really like about this foundation is that if you don't build it up to a very full coverage, it looks like your skin but better and it's also very lightweight. And I also just really like the way it makes my skin look, like I said, my skin but better. Um, secondly, I'm going to be taking the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in Fair Neutral, and I'm going to put that in all the places I either want to A, highlight, or B, conceal. So, with that being said, I go underneath my eyes, con conceal, to conceal, and highlight, and down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, uh, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Next up, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Sacred Brightening Powder, which this powder is my ride or die. I've had like three of these already. It's crazy. But anyways, I'm going to take that to set underneath my eyes, and that's really the only place I use to set with this. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take my Morphe 35O palette and this beautiful, beautiful brush that I've had for like years. And I'm going to start blending those two colors into the crease. Um, if you want to start with lighter colors and work your way up to these two darker colors, you absolutely can. But because I feel comfortable using these two darker colors into the crease, that is what I did. So I'm just going to keep it blending until I get the darkness I want. And then I'm going to go in with this darker orange color. And I'm going to take that on a smaller brush. By the way, I'll link all the brushes down below. But I'm going to take that more directly into my crease just to make it a little bit more orange. Then taking this burnt kind of orangey red brown color, I'm going to take that on the inner and outer corners of my eye and then kind of connect them in the middle like I'm doing a halo eye because after that I'm going to take this gold right here. And I'm going to take that on the on my finger, and I'm going to apply that on the center of the lid. This just gives a pop of color and really adds dimension, and I really like this technique. Then taking the white, I'm just going to use that to highlight my inner corner of my eye. And then taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, I'm going to line my eye off camera. Then moving on to my lower lash line, I'm going to take this really, really orange color on a flat definer brush by Morphe, of course. I'm in love with Morphe's brushes. But yeah, I'm going to take that on my bottom lash line and then to smoke it out, I'm going to take one of the initial transition colors and I'm just, yeah, like I said, really, really going to smoke that out. And then to add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to take this darker brown color and just add it to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Then add, I'm going to add a small amount of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Superstar one. Then taking these Vegas Ne lashes which i've been in love with these lashes lately like these are the perfect kind for me and i work at target and they haven't had these ones so they just recently got them in and of course i got them right away because i love these lashes like i just love the quality of them for the price point moving on to my face i'm going to take this shade from the kat von d shade and light palette and i'm going to start carving out and kind of defining my face and i like to do this heavily on the sides because i do have a wider face so I do like to take it down a little bit more like you, like you tell I'm doing. Sorry, that was my dog in the background. But I'm just going to take it around the, peri the perimeter of my face and a little bit on my nose just to kind of make it look a little bit more defined. Yeah. Then to warm it up, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer on this Eco Tools brush, which is my favorite, favorite brush to bronze with. But I'm just going to lightly take that over the places I contoured, like I said, to warm it up. And then I'm going to take this darker brown, the darkest in the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to take that up against my hairline because I really want it to have a fade into my hairline because sometimes it can look a little bit white because you don't really want the foundation and stuff to get on your hair. So that's why I like to just take it in these areas to really deepen these areas and to make everything fade nicely together. And then taking these two lighter shades in the palette. Oh my god, I'm talking so much. <laughs> I'm like running out of breath. But anyways, I'm just going to highlight a little bit underneath my eyes. And then taking the Balms Mary Luminizer. I'm going to put these in the places I want to highlight. And this is actually going to be the base for my other highlight that I just got. The Becca Pearl. Mm, it is so nice. And so bright. And such like a wow highlighter. Like boom there is your highlight your highlight is on fleek sorry if you can hear other things it just there's a lot going on right now but anyways i'm gonna take this 
blush by by Milani it's the luminoso and I'm just gonna put those on my cheeks and then I'm gonna move on to lips and this is the ColourPop liquid lipstick in trap and then there is the final look i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed filming it but anyways please like and subscribe and maybe check out my instagram um thank you see you in the next video